This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole Distillery and their one-of-a-kind Kentucky bourbon and rye whiskeys. I've been talking about these guys for a long time now, and I've been drinking Cave Hill. This is my favorite of the expressions lately. They got four different delicious expressions, but Cave Hill, their Kentucky straight bourbon, is some of my favorite sauce I've had. It's the uh, four-grain triple malt bourbon. This is Rabbit Hole's original. This is the OG. The four grains in this mash bill include corn, malted wheat, honey, malted berry, and malted barley, all coming together to make a smooth, perfect hint of spice right on the tongue. They got orange and honey and mint in there to finish off your palate. It's so good. They also have the high rye double malt bourbon, uh, the Boxer Grill Sour Mash Rye, and of course the Derringer, which is their sherry finished bourbon. It is delicious. It's finished in sherry casks. It's so good. No matter what you get from these guys, uh, you're going to get uh, something delicious because I got to tell you, a lot of people say small batch. They're actually small batch. Small batch for the other guys can mean 1,000 barrels. They're 15 barrels, one five. That's all that is. The quality is going to be there in every single bottle. I've had a few of you uh, tweet at me and say, hey, I'm drinking some Rabbit Hole. Um, it is so good. Try it out. And the price point, I think, is perfect. Look, it's not super cheap. It's not super pricey. It's right where it should be. It is delicious. It's well-priced, uh, and it's well-distributed. It's all over the place. And I'm starting to see a lot of people say toasted barrels and specialty releases. These guys, every single one of Rabbit Hole's expressions is aged uh, in both charred and toasted barrels at a low entry point and never chill filter, just like it should be. So go ahead and pick yourself up some today. Go to rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly, rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. Use the promo code rabbit for $5 off your first order, or just go to rabbitholedistillery.com. Check out where they sell it all in your area. Go pick some up, jump down the rabbit hole with me and drink responsibly. What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. Man, we got a good one for you today. It's Giannis Pop. Jan Pop! Yanni Papi. I love Giannis Papi so much. The Greek freak himself. Move over, Antetokounmpo. This guy is the original Greek freak. I love Giannis so much. So funny. Check this dude out. Listen to his pod. Go check him out on tour. Go see me. I'm in Boston. What up, Bostonians? Come out and see your boy. You're in the Massachusetts area or you're in New York. Make the drive. Take the train. Come see me for New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. I'm doing New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. A bunch of shows at the Wilba Theater in Boston. Come see me, andrewsantino.com. andrewsantino.com, the only place to get tickets. Come see your boy. Enough rambling. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's the return of one of my favorite humans to ever grace my presence and to be an actual friend. It's Giannis Pop. It's Jan Pop in the house. What's up? Cheers to you. Cheers Just got to in you. from New York. Literally. Well, Austin. Well, you are by well, way of New York City. You went to Austin to go see St. Rogie? That's no, I just went to Austin to um to do with my jazz band. Are you playing jazz again? Yeah. I didn't know you had that talent. I mean, you know, that- you know what I do a lot? I do um, on set when I'm bored uh, the, to the sound guy. I'll do. Now, what are you on now? Porn? What kind of? Are you doing regular? Are you? Are you doing? Have you been able to transition to legitimate films? I have transitioned. Let yeah. me show you. <laughs> I'm doing uh, I'm doing the third season of Dave on FX and Hulu. Oh, that's right. With a Jewish guy. Kanye would hate our whole production team. There's not a lot of them. Really? <laughs> Found one on this show? Yeah, we got one, baby. <laughs> Kanye showed up to set. And Curry, we spit on our whole crew. Yeah. Uh, but I'm doing Dave. Season three. Uh, but I do sometimes to the sound guy. I go... <laughs> Not a lot of guys can do that. I think a lot. I think a lot of uh, bored guys can. I'll do give it. it a go. Boop, 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 boop. What? <laughs> That's incredible. That was good, right? Wow. Yeah, it was. Uh, that that was a high pitched wow. horn. That's my uh, Monday Night Football. <laughs> but well, oh, that's is that drums? Yeah. <laughs> that's from your child. Your child taught you how to do yeah, that. Yeah, my child. <laughs> <laughs> She just, all she does is go daddy high five. That's all she knows how to do. She I hope daddy she's high five? I hope she's okay up here. Oh no. No, she's fine. Did I'm she have to saying. wear a helmet when she came out? No, but I put one on her. 
<laughs> just I, in case. I just told her, I said, listen, get prepared for this economy. We don't make anything in this country anymore. Uh-huh. We don't build anything anymore. Uh-huh. We complain and we force them to give us money by uh-huh. saying, I had it hard. I have disabilities. Pay attention <laughs> to me. So she's learning early. I wired up her jaw and everything. She's got a helmet on. I mean, I drew giants on it so she doesn't feel so bad. Right, right, right. But right, it's right. a special helmet. And does she have an underbite? She, you have to have an underbite. I feel like this is part of like, daddy high five. No, should I pull it out somehow? Yeah, just punch the top lip. Just smoke her on the top and let that thing kick out on the bottom. All right, I What's will. been going on in New York without me? You Not miss me much. over there? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, things are pretty good. You know, people are getting shoved in the subways. Heard, dude, uh... Every time I open up the internet, I feel like another attack in the subway, which is funny because I know you don't take the subway. No, you no. You don't take the subway. Thank God I make enough to not take the subway. But now, is it a financial thing? Because I know there's a lot of people that make enough money and they still take the subway. What is it really with New York? Those there's a lot people... of New Yorkers that just love it. Yeah, no, those people are just trying to be down to earth or whatever. No, if there's no need to take the subway, don't do it. Don't do and it. I don't even live in the city anymore, um, but I do return and I do um, I do attack people. I attack <laughs> Ariana Grande's brother. I do it once in a while, like uh, the great um, Emperor Nero used to do. Uh-huh. He used to dress up with his friends, and this is true. He used to go down with a mask on and he would beat up homeless people. Shut up. That was one of the tamer things he did. So I gave it a whirl. I live in the country now. But when I sneak into the city, I attack Ariana, and I got lucky, and I attacked Ariana Grande's brother, who just recently got attacked in you New got York. Him. I got him. What now is? I heard that Chris Red, uh, stand-up comedian, SNL cast got member, him too. That was Chicago me. guy like me. Yeah. I heard he got punched in the face on the way down to the cellar. I got him. That was a Jan Pop. That was a Jan Pop move. Right there. It was a Jan Pop yeah. knock to the head. Yeah. He's got a soft face. <laughs> 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 he folded. Yeah, he folded. And Ariana Grande's brother, soft face. Did he get beat up for real? I don't know. He got punched right in a kissa. And nobody knows why by a guy in a security vest. They surmise it may have something to do with where he's putting his peen. Oh, no. Yeah. Be careful. He put his peen, I think, in a friend's ex or something like that. Oh, I don't do want to gossip, but I but read you it. you can't do that. You, you technically can, but... You shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Nah. Unwritten shouldn't. rules of manhood. You can't hook up with anybody. If you, any any one of your friends' exes, they're off limits. Right. And I don't know if that's a fact. I just, that was what, that's what the No, I'm saying, was. but sidebar. Yeah. Can't do that anyway. Regardless yeah. if that was what happened with them. It's what they call MTV guy code. Guy code. Yeah, you can't Welcome do it. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it. It is true. You can't do that. <laughs> There's too many people on earth. You cannot hook up with your buddy's ex. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're willing, if you're willing to lose the friend. Look, if he's a shitty friend, fine, fuck him. But what if it's like love? What you know? What if it's like true love? You not know? a real thing. No, no. Th- now what's real love? What is that? Um, yeah, that that's real love. Disney. Yeah, that's Disney the, did that. Yeah, that's the fake love. That's all fake. I thought about that because we were. I was joking about the mouse because we work for the mouse. ABC is the mouse. You know, they own everything now, and they own Hulu and FX and. But we who, effectively get. We effectively work for them. Let's for what stop it's worth. it. Let's stop it right there. Uh huh. Yeah, we don't want to. Disney. That's what we'll call it. I know the Disney. We're the not going to say it's just Disney. <laughs> but it's so funny to think that, like, you know, you get like we te- we're still doing the COVID testing thing all the time and all that shit, and there's all these, you know, stipulations that the union is trying to get rid of and blah blah blah. But I kind of got in a light discussion with someone about how it's like it's so funny that. You know, when we're up and we're shooting, don't worry about it. But then as soon as you're not shooting, like, did you put on the mask? Yeah. You, you put on the mask? I'm that, like, how come I just did a 30-minute take face-to-face <laughs> with somebody? It was like, that's fine because the money is up. When the money is up, then they don't care. But then I was kidding around about how, like, what would Disney do? You know, you get sick anyway. It's not like they give a shit. What, are they going to send you, like, a, a goofy phone call? Like, uh-huh, I heard you got COVID. <laughs> yeah. I heard your dad died. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're, they're still doing that, huh? Yeah, we're still playing the game. Yeah. Oh, I, I heard your mom got real sick. <laughs> Sorry, your mom died. Uh-huh. <laughs> you get two free park passes. <laughs> no, it's just there. Yeah, we're still playing the game because um, California, LA isn't the city doesn't have the rules, but the but corporations do. They're 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 scared about getting sued, and it's so weird. It's like we're all playing the game and doing the right thing, but. It's like, what do you want me to do? I don't know. What do you want me to do? Yeah. What can, what can you, I don't know what you want me to do. And actually, Fran Drescher uh, got in a lot of, she got a lot of criticism because she's the SAG president, the union president. And she publicly was like, I want to see if there's a way to get people money that lost jobs because they weren't uh, able to get vaccinated, whether it was a personal choice or a medical or religious decision. Yeah. People got all mad. And I was like, 
Good for her. She's yeah. standing up for people lost a lot of money because they were like, I don't want to get vaxxed or I can't get vaxxed. Yeah. And they couldn't work. And then people and then companies were like, especially out here, they're like, Well, you're fired. Yeah. So she's trying to do the right thing, which is funny. And of course, everybody is like, shame on you, Fran. It's yeah. Like, what do you mean? People need to work. Yeah. And I, they just never considered the vaccine. That, I mean, the a previous infection, like uh, equivalent to a vaccine, which, which is what they should have done. Yeah. We all got clipped. Yeah. By the way. So if you got clipped, I mean, it's like that's that's the equivalent to a vaccine. So then that should have been fine. And I st there's still not a good explanation of why that was. There never will be. We'll look yeah. back in 50 years. You and I will be sitting on a porch having some whiskey. We'll laugh about how crazy it was. Yeah. But the world is going to be collapsed by then. I cannot wait for this recession, baby. When is it coming? It's around the corner. What do you smell? What is what is Papa Jan smell coming around uh, the corner? Hoover, Hooverville's. Oh. Tent cities. Tent city. Hooverville. Yeah. Riots. Love riots. Yeah. Anything uh, on fire. And what do you see? Oh, yeah. Los Angeles, I'm seeing it on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's on fire. Wow. Wow. It's it's roaring oh, right now. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. Yeah, oh, you see it. It's, what happens in New York? New York, uh, New York gets bombed. Oh, nice. Yeah, it gets bombed. Love that. Yeah. Chinese bomb? All no. Uh, it's it's uh it's unexpected. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. so it's like it's like Sweden. Sweden does it. Out of the dark. Out of the blue. We didn't <laughs> see it coming. They're mad at us because of what how much we've been giving Ukraine. And they're like, Can you tone it down? We're right on the border. We're scared. So they just mm -hmm. preempt, hit us. It's I a whole get thing. It. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Well, we should be fine. I think we should be fine. I mean, I don't. You know, the evil people that run the world and, or, and the ones who were in control as a company—they're self-interested. They don't want to take it all away. No. Well, yeah. I also heard that a hundred. It was. It's been equated to a hundred and fifty humans effectively uh, control the world. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty not uh, Christians. Well, well, I wouldn't have it any other way, yeah, boy. Yeah, it's Christian. You know, we ain't made no Protestant money in there, dude. Whenever I come across a Jew in Hollywood, I just am surprised. I'm like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. One hundred and fifty good old Christian boys. Christians, Christian yeah. boys. They did say I, re I read this thing. It said one hundred fifty uh, people, men uh, specifically, have genuinely like the keys to close it down like if everything wanted to go to shit right it's a collective group it's not like they have meetings these 150 people but the 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 it's not even billionaires you can't call them trillionaires the unexplained wealth group that these that is people we will never even know who shape shifting they are. illuminati shape shifting loomies yeah uh that's why i wore this illuminati shirt look at this this illuminati worldwide illuminati shirt love that yeah um they will eventually have to find a new trick yeah. And I wonder what the trick is. Like I read this I read this nonsense article about uh um for the first time in history uh we men's sperm count is the lowest collectively that's ever been globally. Well, I jerked off three times in a hotel last night so I'm even lower. Did you save it? No, Come I didn't on. save it. I usually do save it. Yeah. I drink it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what I you, read an article. Were you Gwyneth Paltrow or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is she, what's a girl who, who who used to smell her own vagina farts or whatever that was? Was that her? Was she smelling them or was she drinking it? She was, I she she was, was like huffing her puss farts or something? I or? think she squatted on like one of those lemon candles. juice. Candles. Oh, that's it. She had pussy oh, candles. Oh, she made pussy candles. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. And another one was just squatting on it and juicing it like an orange. <laughs> yeah. Love that. <laughs> Wait, were you in a you were in a hotel in uh, in Austin? Town? I was in a hotel in Austin. Yeah. How was Texas, dude? Texas is still free. It's still free down still there, free, man. Dude. It's free as hell. God damn it! They, that's they, they. You catch COVID, they just blow back at you. <laughs> that's what they do, or they put you down. Oh, they, they just put, put you, you down. To sleep. Yeah, I think they just put Take you down neck. Texas style. I mean, the homeless people disappeared. I don't know where they are, but I think I suspect they put them down. They had to. Yeah. Well, that, that that river that runs through it. There's a river that runs through it through Austin. Yeah. Hey, tie a rope, kaplunk, goodbye. Oh, uh, yeah. You let them float down to, uh, what's it called? Uh, God, what's the name of that beach there? I've been Mexico? there. Mexico? No, 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 what's the beach right there in Austin? I've been there. There's like a topless beach there, too. Oh, Barton yeah. Springs, man. Oh, the springs, that's the 70 degrees of years around. The bubbler, man. Yeah. The bubbler, Is man. that a river or a spring? It's, it's a spring, Barton Spring. It's a spring, yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> yeah. We both got into, yeah, it's a spring. Well, I already have one in a minute. You got a yeah. house in? Yeah. What, are you still snussing or whatever? I'm still snoozing, yeah. You're snoozing. I'm snoozing, God damn it, yeah. You're never going to There's none of them good old boys down there now, though, man. It's... No, Austin is uh, is art uh, artsy-fartsy bullshit. Yeah. I saw that last time I was there on uh, Congress, South Congress, they had a, um, a Soul Cycle and a Soho House. And I was like... All it's right. changed, yeah. This is LA. It's like a it's like a shitty LA. Yeah, it's like um, Republican Hollywood. 
Buff. Yeah, it, it, it's sort of like a mixture of San Francisco and Los Angeles. But then when you go out a little bit, you see some of those Leatherface houses. When it's Texas, Texas, you, it, see, you see the chainsaw swinging in the No trees. garage, just a tarp over the top of the car, like held up by sticks. <laughs> 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 that old blue tarp. Have you ever thought about what your alternative life is? Because I believe that we're existing in other lives. Yeah. What is yours? Are you a country bumpkin in another life? Because you're an uppity city boy. I'm definitely a girl in another life. You're a lady friend. I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm a lady. Yeah, Are I'm you short? I'm positive. Because sometimes I'll I'll get a, there'll be like a vision, a tunnel vision through to the other side. And I'll, it's, it usually happens when I'm getting fucked in another universe. And I feel it. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. You feel a little pussy I get feel filled up. Yeah, I feel filled up. So you think you might be a lady. Are you fat? Are you beautiful? Are you skinny? Are you tall? Are I you think short? I'm, I think I'm, I'm think I'm forgettable. Oh, you're a normal. I think I'm a norm. You just stay. What are they? You're a basic bitch. I'm a basic bitch. What are you? Are you a blonde headed girl? Are you a brunette? I'm a, I'm a little more brunette. Yeah, I, I I have to wax my mustache. Oh, you got a heavy. Yeah, and I'm I just am sort of like a norm. It's so norm. You're boring. I'm boring. I'm norm. I got a boring job. I'm like a book agent. You know, it's mm. brutal. Yeah, and you're married to a guy who who you hate. Um, I'm single. Oh, because of the divorce. Yeah, um, yeah, because of the divorce. I'm, so I'm single sorry. now. Yeah. Is so it, yeah, but I got a couple of kids. But my it wasn't from my womb because I had that issue. Couldn't have. So I do. I have a couple of uh, alternate universe Chinese kids because in the alternate oh. universe also there's a surplus of Chinese kids. Is there? I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do I, uh, what's my, what's my alternative? Sometimes when I'm- Do you have red hair in the alternative? I universe? hope not. Yeah. Good God. You can't get cursed twice in this fucking it's life. It's not a curse. It's fucking great. It's, and you're a handsome ging. Well, grazie. Yeah, grazie. usually the gingers aren't as good looking as I've you. I've said this before. I'll say it again. 95% of men who are redheaded are hideous creatures, yeah. repulsive looking guys. 5%. Not bad. Yeah. 5%. Yeah. With women, opposite. I think most redheaded women seem to be very good looking. There's like a lot of beautiful redheaded women. You see a couple of hagglers in there. I agree. But for, for the men, boy, oh boy, it's mostly just unfortunate. It's usually off the mark. It's bad. I, I, yeah. I And I think it's, a, well, because the genes are fucked up here, so they, they it's just they get scrambled eggs in the face as well. Yeah. And I got lucky. My mom's a pretty lady. My old man was handsome. So- I'm somewhere in the middle. I'll take. I'll take it. I'm a. I've always said you know your number, don't you? And you have no fracks. I got a couple fracks, but not as many as you'd think. Yeah. But I know my number. I'm a seven. I'm a good old seven. What do you think you are? Out of I'd, 10? I'd go a little higher. No, you're no, you're tall. You're tall. That helps. Okay. Good head of hair. That helps. But still seven, seven. Eight is reserved for. What are you? What am I? Yeah. Six point six. I'm like a. I'm like a Dave Portnoy pizza score. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're out here, yeah. Brookline, Mass. Yeah. Uh, we're at Fuzzy's Pizzeria. I'm a Napolitan pizza for him. I'm oh, in the sixes. Oh, you are. Yeah. I'm pepperoni. Yeah. But you know what bums me out about that whole thing, by the way? One bite is bullshit. He takes a lot of bites. One bite is a bullshit idea. Yeah. You can't have one bite and understand what something is. No. You've, you'd have you have to have multiple bites to like really let it ruminate and understand how- Well, he takes multiple bites and, and sometimes he'll add one on a woman. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, I that gotta say. That was very good. <laughs> You're very good. You? Very good. Hey, are you gonna see your he other- He says that to the girls, one bite, you know the rules. And one he takes bite. a few, yeah. You know the bite. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to visit your other Greek freak while you're here? Stavros? Oh, Stamos. Stamos. Yeah. Is yeah. Stavi here? No. He but, was here not too long ago. Yeah. Um, you going to go see Stamis? Yeah, I think we, we might. Yeah, I think I might hook up with him. You don't have a choice. I don't have a choice when I come out here. I'm like, I'm, I, yeah, I'll just be like, I'm coming out here. He's like, come over, we're making pizzas. I, love, I, I don't know why I'm fascinated with that relationship. It's also because I think we've known him since we were kids, in my mind, pu as, pu as a public person. Yeah, well, it's weird because my ex-girlfriend was obsessed with her, and she's got a whole shtick about him. Uh, and then um, she broke up with me, and now I'm like really good friends with him, so I won. Who won, babe? Yeah, Shh. I won. Nah. And then you're here, and then you go back to, to New York, and are you touring? Maybe. Are you going to tour or no? Yeah, I'm touring heavy. You are? I'm touring heavy. I'm heavy, like the red wave that <gasps> didn't come. Did not come. That, ra that wave turned into just a light ripple, didn't it? Was it? Just, it was just a spotting. Yeah, it was just spotting. Well, I got to tell you, it all it, it, it surprised me how um, 
Actually, it didn't surprise me. It was uh, pretty on par how boring all that turned out to be. I thought something was going to happen. I kind of felt like, ooh, midterms, this might be something wild. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing fucking Nothing. happened. The de- well, what happened was the Dems, the Dems came strong. Yeah, nope, but nobody, I mean, also, I don't think anything, nothing's going to change anyway. I think everything's going to kind of stay the course. Well, Trumpy, Trumpy's running. I don't think so. Well, he announced uh, a couple weeks ago. I know, but you know what ago. I mean. I still yeah. think this is all a ruse for him to get back in the public eye because he wants his, whatever his fucking Twitter app that he's invented. What's it called? He, he's got a social media, a uh, right wing. Truth Social. I truth, think it's yeah. Truth Social. Yeah, yeah. These guys just want to bring more press to their shit. Yeah. That's how I've always felt that I'm like... This isn't Trump's not going to run again. Well, yeah, I, I don't think I don't think he's got to. It looks like all his the candidates that he endorsed they came up short. Yeah, and all the Republicans hate him anyway. Yeah, they, he's kind of uh, you know he, he's kind of like Denzel at the end of Training Day. Oh yeah, they're all against you now. Yeah, he's like standing yeah, there that's and he's yelling. So good. Yeah, he's kind of like Denzel at the end of Training Day. You motherfuckers day. ain't with me. Yeah. And, and they all slowly disappear. Yeah, and they're just pushing the gun. You got to fight your own battles, man. Yeah, and then they fuck. Yeah, yeah that's they, what a good scene. Yeah. Jakey. Yeah. Why well, can't I think of that actor's name now? You, you, Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. <sighs> One of my favorite actors, too. God, he's so good. I love him. When he makes him smoke wet, you know, in the car, and yeah. he's tripping. Yeah. It's, they shot, of all the times I've seen drug use in film look do- whack, that was one that I was like, this kind of is what it feels like. You fade in and out of consciousness when you, sm- when you, when you get too high on any kind of substance, you're, they showed him fading in and out, kind of receiving messages but not adhering to them, not understanding how to like be. I was like, this is kind of a the best version of I'm too high to function. Have you ever smoked crack like that? No, I've never no. smoked crack. But I mean, like if I'm on something heavy, if I'm on heavy psychedelics or something, you're kind of not you're with it, but you're not really with it when you're when you're tripping really hard. Did that start when you moved to LA, or is that what the Chicago boys did? I think I did the most amount of drugs yeah. not he, uh, in outside, not here. I yeah. did college and and high school. High school was probably where I did the most yeah. drugs. That's what, where I tried everything. What was what, what was one of your faves? What, what what really? What did you take to? I still always love mushrooms. I still will take them once in a while. Yeah, I love them, man. I you really don't get do. scared of like the trip and losing control. No, honestly, I yeah. think maybe it's an age thing. But as I've gotten older, I've let go. You're not a control guy. I am about certain things, right. but I honestly, dude, I'm, like when your ladies, the, the the food is not the right temperature. Well, I said this is lukewarm. <laughs> Excuse me, lukewarm. Is my name Luke? It's Andrew, bitch. Heat it up. In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. Hey, are you looking to design a website? Well, I have the solution. It's Squarespace. I've talked to you guys for quite a long time about Squarespace on this show, and I got to tell you. The reason I love Squarespace so much is because I'm not good at designing stuff. I'm terrible. You should see my house. It's sad. Uh, I have to pay other people to do it. But with Squarespace, you can do it yourself uh, with the comfort of the product that they've provided. They have these beautiful templates, or you can go rogue and do it completely on your own. But what Squarespace has done that other companies don't do, they have these member areas um, that you can fit things around to your brand, specific to to you to unlock a new revenue uh, stream from whatever it is you're selling, or if you're just showcasing stuff. Um, if you're providing a service, they have appointment scheduling built right in for your classes or your sessions, built right into your website. Clients can easily use uh, this to you know, find out your availability, to reschedule, uh, and it's already built in, which is so incredible. They got a video studio, so if you're looking to make you know, pro-style videos effortlessly, they've got the Squarespace Video Studio app that helps you make, share engaging videos to tell your story and grow your audience and drive those sales or just put the content out. They got email campaigns, which is used for comics. We have to find out where all you guys are coming from and blast out when we're coming to your town and they have the built-in analytics that are going to help measure the impact of every single time they're sent out and with this the analytics which is my favorite you can help grow your business so uh you can learn where the site visits and clicks are coming from and all that traffic so i know where i'm going on tour like when i go to boston for new year's eve and new year's eve eve come see me boston Uh, use these insights to help grow your business and expand and you can connect all your social media accounts in one location. It's it's why I like Squarespace so much. They make it so convenient for you to place everything in one spot for everyone to find simply and beautifully. So if you're looking to design a site of your own, go to head, head over to squarespace.com slash whiskey for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use offer code whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's right, squarespace.com slash whiskey for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, I've talked about BetterHelp 
many a times on this show. I'm a big proponent of mental health help and mental health awareness as someone that suffers from anxiety and depression. And you say it with a French accent, of course, because they're the best at being depressed. Uh, I know it's fun to talk to somebody uh, when times are hard. It helps. Trust me. I really believe in that. Um, and uh, I got to tell you, BetterHelp is the best place that I've found in a long time of how to get help from the comfort of your own home. That's what I kind of love about BetterHelp, that you don't have to go to some office, drive you know, drive your car and sit in traffic and find parking. Um it's incredible. Life doesn't come with some user manual, so when it's not working out, it's normal to feel stuck. And how do you get unstuck? You know, these therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of the challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the com complex engine that we call YOU. They've connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists, convenient and accessible from anywhere, and it's 100% done online, okay? Whether you've tried therapy before, online or in person, Try out BetterHelp. Give it a whirl and see if it can work for you. They're the world's largest therapy service. BetterHelp has matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's very affordable. Fill out a brief questionnaire. They're going to match you with a the therapist. And if things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist at any point in time. It couldn't be simpler. Couldn't be easier. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the, night, the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash whiskey. That is BetterHelp.com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. Luke Warm is my name, Luke. It's Andrew, bitch. Heat it up. I don't want Luke Warm on that. I want Andrew hot. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, it's Italian. It's culture. You can't really. That's just a cultural yeah. thing in Italian. I want to. Yeah. I want it to burn my mouth. Yeah. A little discipline, like Sean Connery said. A little smack. It He's doesn't like, hurt anybody. I'm okay with smacking a woman yeah. right on the face. <laughs> That guy's insane. Yeah. That, that was so fucking funny. It was Barbara Walters, wasn't it? Was it was Barbara Walters, yeah. And she was uh, like, do you want to take it back? And he was like, actually, no. No, I, in fact, I reinforce my <laughs> beliefs about women being less than. No, but I think I, I'm strict about some stuff or I'm, I'm, I, I like things a certain way sometimes. But I swear, I said this to someone else the other day. Certain things that used to, I think, used to be a thing. Now I've learned to just be like, fuck it, dude. Let it go. Yeah. Because I just look... Like you, the, you, like when Trump lost the election, you finally have just you're at, you've let you've well, accepted it. Did finally. I leave my Trump flag up? I did. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> you know what? In my neighborhood, this was wild. There was a dude. A, um, this guy uh, was had a huge Trump flag, and then across the street they had the um, uh, oh, shit the gay pride flag, but it's the other one with all the other shit in it. And they flew this, and they flew it across the street from each other, and I was like, how? funny is that to be the neighbor of either of those people yeah. to just see them le like one sipping coffee just watching them pull out by the way in his f-350 and their tesla you know what i mean like yeah. at the exact same time it's just that's that is more la than people know i think people don't know there's some reds out here there's a ton of yeah. them there's yeah. a ton of them i think that people think it's all because the industry is all uh, one way and you think that's the whole of LA but that's not true man that's Fucking, not true. It is, it's different than people think it's like that everywhere there's certain like little sort of sub areas that are red and blue and they're right next to each other and they get a little bit of what it feels like to be on the Israeli-Palestinian border that's how <laughs> that's how they must feel guys uh Guys, the Gaza Strip is Ventura Boulevard. <laughs> yeah. Whether you like it or not, I mean, they see each other's flags. They're right there. Yeah, they're know? right next to each other. They can hear each other's music. They can throw stuff at each other. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry that you had to drive all the way here from Smell AX. I know that's way too far. That's it, you were. You texted me. You're like, it's ten miles, but it's, it's not, yeah, it's two hours. It was just the traffic. But you were in the heart. You have to know. I do know this when I traveled to New York too. I'm not landing near in rush hour. I'm it, either in the middle of the day at two o'clock. Or I'm waiting until the nighttime. This was worse than usual. I mean, I'm used to LA traffic, especially rush hour. But this was used. Uh, this is bad. Worse than usual, and I found out why. Kanye was doing an Israelite speech on the street. On oh, he was Hollywood Boulevard. No yeah. way. Yeah, he was out there. He had the robes on, and he was going read. <laughs> and uh, so there was a big, there was a big crowd. <laughs> it was a big crowd. It was a big crowd. Yeah. It was. T I think it's tough. I think it's tough to to get around that. I know they block off the streets for that guy. He's fun right now. He's hot right I now. I mean, we got somehow we got to figure out a way to put meds in the in whatever city he's in. Just put it in the water supply <laughs> and get it into him. <laughs> well, he's on tour. Yeah. You know what it is? Put it in those little bottles in the black car SUVs he takes all the time. Just yeah. put it. Just drop it into some of his life water or whatever yeah. it is. They, I hope they don't. Just let him go. It's fun to watch. 
Well, they haven't. This is the, uh, the he's out of his mind. Well, the hypocrisy is that they're like he's sick. He's sick. Okay, let's get him on CNN. So they don't really give a fuck about him. If they did, they'd they'd try to help him. Instead, they're like, let's exploit him. And because you know all these guys like Cuomo and all these guys are like, I want to have a conversation with you. It's like, no, you don't. You want to get clicks. Yeah. You want this to be the next viral. You, if you gave a fuck up, if anybody of us gave a fuck about the guy in the media world. We would not. You wouldn't have him on anything, right? You right. because then you'd be like, I care. I don't want to exploit you while you're vulnerable and let you say dumb shit into the microphone. Right. It's silliness. They're they're all self serving, and yeah. it's so see through when they're like, you know, when Cuomo and uh, and Lex Friedman, all these people are like, I really want to help you. I want to be your friend. It's like, then why'd you put a camera on him? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Why'd you bright light camera this guy if you wanted to help him? I, it's such a it's You're such a fucking right. lie. It yeah. bothered me when I saw all of them, and it was clickbait for all of them. I'm sure their I'm sure their views went through the roof, and yeah. they got what they needed. And that guy will still be fucking spinning out. Uh, you know, he'll be out of control. What is the source of all this chaos? The Kardashians. They started it. It seems like yeah. It seems like you know when you when you leave that you're different. They change you. It change you. You're a little Call different. Call Lamar Odom. See what happened yeah. to him. I mean, didn't he flatline? He died. He died. And he came back. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. God was like, I'll give you one more shot, but you stay away from those chicks. Yeah. It's, it's something. They do something to something's you. Something's in the water. They do. Something's, something's in the water. water. Something's in the water over there with those gears, water. dude. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, and I know this episode's going to come out far after, but man, oh man, was I happy to see Philly finally use a football game because if I saw those clowns go undefeated all year and watch Philly boneheads, like our good friends, we have so many friends, Philly guys, like oh, Chrissy O'Connor and Shane Gilly and those fucking dickheads, if I had to listen to them celebrating... Go, go into the World Series, losing, by the way. They lost, yeah. And then go into the Super Bowl, though, I would undefeated, I would have blown my fucking brains They've out. Ju- Philly have- fans are... I have so many friends from Philly, but man, are they the worst. Philly and Boston are tough. Oh, they're they're dickheads. tough. Dickheads. Yeah, they're tough. Especially Boston, I feel like Boston fan, like Boston people, uh, they use sports in the place of emotions. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like when they want to, like they're like, they want to say something emotional to you, they use like a sports team. A hundred percent. You know, and they just yeah. like, we'll talk about it through sports. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah left me, but you know. I'm doing my birth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Deborah left me, dude. <laughs> but what would Brady do in this situation? Would Mar- what would Marcus Smart do? Yeah. That's exactly it. Persevere. Yeah. <laughs> That's my birth. Automatically, when I think Boston, I just think of him. Yeah. He's the he is the he's the epitome of it. And played fucking Fenway. And I texted That him. was incredible. I texted him, I was like, That's you know what's so funny That's about incredible. him? Still a humble dude. Yeah. I, I was like, you know, congratulate him. And he was like, Thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know, like never a doubt. I don't know what I what we were saying before, but I was I was trying to say like never a doubt. I wrote at the end of it like, that's you're a fucking you're the one. There's very few guys I've met in this business who I respect more. He is him. He's he's, he's him. him. That's what they say in the streets. Yeah, he's him. He's him. He's him. He's not. He's he's the same guy. Yeah, I'm his surprised. Feet are, his that's, feet are planted. That's solid. hard to do. Yeah. I, I feel like that's hard to do because I've we've you've seen enough people kind of come and go in the thing, but that's a hard thing to do at that level. I don't. Kudos to him. I think I don't know how anybody keeps uh, sane uh, when they become when you sell out baseball stadiums. That's fucking crazy to me. That's insane. That's yeah, insane to looping. sell out Fenwell Park. And what that must have felt like for him, a kid from Boston, is it just must have been incredible. Yeah, and I respect him too because he'll do, he's done like, right? He's done like uh, Star Wars shit. Yeah. But then you watch his act and it's the same. Yeah, nothing changed. He's r- third rail. He's still third rail. Fenway so. to him is what to you? The 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 the, the Pantheon? Uh, what is it? The, it's the uh, Parthenon? Be, it, I mean, it's got to be Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's. It's funny to know that that'll never happen, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, why not? Maybe. Jan, maybe. When you get a little older, your dreams get a little more manageable. Yeah. They're a little more manageable. Like, oh, let me just get a solid shit. And, you know. Can I make it back uh, there and back to LA? God, I hope that fifth show sold out. You know, yeah. it's very manageable stuff, you know? Yeah, that's a good life. It's great, dude. It's great. Yeah. Nothing's missing for you right now. No. If you could, right ha- now. If, if, if you could fix one thing, though. What would it be if you were like, you know what I wish I had right now? Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, things are good. So it's like, it's kind of like if that's, if you don't have a thing where you're like, man, I wish if fucking, if I could only. No, yeah, I mean, uh, 
everything's fun. Everything's great. The tour schedule's filled up. Giannispappascomedy.com. Go to Giannispappascomedy.com. Go buy a fucking ticket while you listen to this right now and go see the boy. Are you collecting a new hour? Is that what you're doing? I'm collecting a new hour. Yeah, and if you haven't watched the special, it's on. It's only a couple months. It's been up. Go watch that. Go watch it. It's go, called go, Mom Love. It's called Mom Love. It's on the. It's on the internet everywhere it's, you can click. It's on the YouTube's. Yeah. Bring your finger around. You'll see it without yeah. a doubt. You already have a new hour that you're smashing? No, not a full hour. No. Tough, isn't no, it? No, I squeeze in some of the old stuff, yeah. Like, I put mine out in January, my special, and man, am I empty-headed. I've Where's got yours? 15 minutes. It's going to be on Netflix. Ooh! Congratulations. Thanks, but also, you know, it's all the same now. Yeah, well... Uh, the internet is just the internet. It's, it's almost like... I, I, if they promote it, you know, if they keep it in that They night. won't. I, yeah. I'll have to. Yeah. I'll have to. Yeah. But that's fine. It is what it is, and then... But you know what's good about Netflix though? Like it's on I your want phone. my phone. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> but I, I, uh, I've done two on YouTube now, and it's great. But I feel like Netflix, you get a chance for maybe like a little more of a mature audience, a little older audience. Maybe because, take a, take a buyers, as they say. Yeah, that's because, I'm kind of hoping. Right, because like a, a YouTube is still, I think, very young, and you know, it's like a pre-married crowd. And now I'm a married guy, so like, the, the, I think that's the advantage of YouTube. You're a married guy, so I think you but, get. A, but 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 also. I've also felt that the more I see, like we bought a new TV for the studio in the other room, and now they're so front loaded. The first button is YouTube on the thing. Yeah, it's YouTube, Netflix, Hulu buttons. Boom, 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 because they know that people aren't getting cable as much anymore, and that's the first one they have. So I was like, I do think a lot of people go home at night, hit the YouTube button, and let it. You know, either play the one thing that they they start with the thing and then they let it, uh, the algorithm choose for them. Yeah. Uh, so it's one and the same. That's how it's kind of how I'm starting to feel that all of it is chunked into the same spot. Like by the way, I'm sure you've had somebody who's seen your special and went, "Dude, I watched your Netflix special." Because it's just synonymous with comedy special. Yeah. Even if they saw it on YouTube, in their mind they're like, "Yeah, yeah, that Netflix special." Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. It, that, it, it is a weird. Like I've had my like my parents' friends will say that unknowledgeably, and they'll go, "The Netflix special." I'm like, "No, I don't have one yet." Yeah. And they'll go, what have, what have I seen? What have I seen then? Right. It's like, well, it's all the internet. You saw internet. Right. I love hearing how normal people think about what we do. They're like, you know. They're well, like, it's bullshit. Though. Yeah, they're like, I think I saw your skit thing. What was your yeah, sketch? Yeah, what was you did a sketch. I saw, I saw your thing. What's your skit? And then you go, they, they go like, oh, no, that must have been Jerry Seinfeld. They're like so <laughs> yeah. far removed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or when they ask you, my favorite is when they ask you if you know somebody. That's. It's a, it's a little. It's have not, you met Carol Burnett? Yeah. Do you know her? <laughs> do you know her? Yeah. No, I know her. Drew Carey. Yeah. Now that's a guy we like. Yeah. There's a certain like age group over a certain age where they can like if they they just still think you're struggling because they haven't seen you like on a my grandmother ch channel up to the day she four like uh, sitcom. Yeah, yeah. You haven't been on Carson. Yeah. Up to the day she died. Uh, I should. That's a lie. The last year of my grandmother's life, she started to really kind of, it started to feel real. But honestly, before that, I had my grandmother multiple times say to my mom, like, you know, when is Andrew going to like get a job? And she's like, <laughs> he has a lot of jobs. Like he works on TV. He works on, and she'll be like, oh, well, no, I know. But like, you know, if he really wants to like have a family and get married and, you know, it's like that he needs like probably like a work, a job, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I, and my mother had no explanation. It's like, yeah, yeah. You, just, you have to say, yeah. Like, yeah. What are you going to do? Fight about being like... No, this this thing he does is a job. She's gonna go, but wh when am I gonna see him on the Sid Caesar show? <laughs> <laughs> Parents is it, proud of you? Is he not? Is, does he not want to? He doesn't really want to make it, huh? Because if he did, <laughs> we would see him. We would really see him out there doing one of those Sinatra specials. Is Frank still making those? <laughs> Where's Frank? Half half a glass deep. Those are the guys I wish we could go back in a time machine and see how they lived. You know the Rat Pack uh, is the Rat Pack as glorified as it was. You know it was fucking sad as shit. You think so? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 dude. In the same way I felt about um, uh, uh, Hugh Hefner. The first time I ever went to the um, Playboy Mansion, it immediately. If you are self aware at all, and you go to one of those places, you immediately learn how cockamamie, yucky, weirdo shit that is. Why? It's scummy. It's it was like oh it was always like scummy fat weird rich guys sauntering around with like sad lost daddyless girls and that's what it that's what it I saw it right away the first time I went I was poor we got snuck in through friends production companies rich guy buddy and I knew right away I was like oh I've always kind of felt weird about Playboy Mansion even if it had all this thing and it lived up to the thought which was it was shit. 
Yeah. It was dog shit. Well, you're because you're a comedian. Comedians are a different type of entertainer. Right. We're, it's hard to receive that we're organically. Al- yeah. We're always aware. We're always, uh, you know, seeing through things. And we're right. Always, it was, yeah. yeah. And, and, you, and even when other people, I think, are smart enough to, because I'm not saying we're smarter, but even when people like get it enough to see through it, they choose to horse blind it because they just want to have a good time. You know, when someone's like, can't you just have fun? And yeah. you're like, how? This yeah. is fucking awful. Yeah. And they're like, just come on. Will you drop the comedian yeah. thing from it? And you're like, no, it's in my DNA to call out how crazy this thing is. Even just to myself, I can't even, I can't fake it. Yeah. I couldn't fake it. Yeah. It was a bummer. It yucked me out fucking hard. I mean, the hard. guy had to like constantly be in a robe because that was his brand. It's like, put on a fucking pair of Dockers, guy. Grow up. Yeah, grow yeah, grow up. Grow up. Get this guy some slacks. I mean, he's like always in a robe. That's the same as the guy in the neighborhood who like never puts on real clothes. And he's like, well, I'm just a stay-at-home dad. You're like, yeah, well, take a shower. Yeah, he's you fucking, fucking lazy walking asshole. Walking around like Jimmy, the uh, what was it, the, the chin who was trying to... Pretend like he was crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That mob boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just always in a robe. Good act, though, by the way. If you could pretend like you're loopy just so you can get away with yeah, more stuff. He went for it. He committed. Yeah. I can't, I think committing to the bit like that is pretty. I applaud stuff. Like we talked on Bad Friends. This woman, she wanted to be blind so bad she blinded herself. And that's what? committing to the bit <laughs> through acid in her eyeballs. Yeah. Because she wanted to be blind? Wanted to be blind. She thought she, she felt she was born blind in her heart. She How needed old to was go she? blind. Is this she... one was like in her twenties when she did it. Oh my god! So that's like the th- yeah. That's the, see. That's the that's the what's going on now. This is what's happening. <laughs> that's what's right? going on is that now. What's happening? You can't add comedy to comedy. I mean, you know, we're living in a pretty peculiar time. Hard to beat that... what? Hard to beat the world at its own joke. She felt like she just identified as a blind woman. Well, yeah. I mean, there's also we talked about this on the show too. There's a guy who identifies as Korean who got like a hundred surgeries done to look Korean. <laughs> And changed his name. He identifies as Korean. He's a, he's not not he has no association with it other than he loves Korean culture. Yeah, I mean everything from soup to nuts, from how people uh, what their gender is or what. Uh, what how, however you however you think you were uh, in whatever lifetime you can be. That's why I said you think you're a girl, and I, you know what I think I am. Uh, I am a lowly man who lives on the street, who plays music in the alleyways his mouth trumpet and i get by with my mouth trumpet and a couple of blowjobs here and there <laughs> yeah you know i suck a couple that's I got who you good, are you yeah. got a good tutor yeah but i think i sleep under uh, uh and underpasses because sometimes i'll find myself driving under an underpass and i'll go that's a good place to sleep that would be a good place That'd be, like i'll see the nook i'll see nooks yeah sometimes it, i'll see a homeless nook and i'll go ooh, prime yeah it's it's in it's roof ish Roofish. It's roofish. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, in, it's like, a, it's like clo- as close to a roof as you can get. Uh, how about this? If you could disappear, if you, boom, snap your fingers, and you could disappear, right? Responsibility's all gone, and but you had to transport to somewhere, where would you start that Rome. in life? I'd, Rome. I'd go to Rome. I'd go to Rome. But would you, could, I be, could I choose who I'm going to be? Of course. Okay. I mean, your, your old life is gone. You're dead. Okay. Like, like imagine something, imagine a, a, a universal energy came to you one night and was like, look, I'm sorry. But you're going to have to leave your family. You don't have a choice. But we're going to transport you to another time. I mean, the same time, but another place. But you're not you. you get, you're going to be somebody else. Ooh, that's a good question because- Who are you going to be? What are you going to be? Would I leave my family? And they could could I choose like who I am, how rich I am, how powerful I am, things like that? A few of those details I think are too too generous. I think you can choose what kind of person you are, where you live, like what your occupation is and where you live. Okay. I'm the rest go, is going to be up I'm to the going, I'm a Caesar. Oh, you're Caesar. I'm going to Caesar, and I'm going back to Rome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to Rome. I'm going to be a Caesar. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a harem. You're gonna be a harem guy. I'm, I'm gonna be a harem guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go extreme. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna be another version of me. Yeah. In another, I'm going. Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna go? Like, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm not making any lateral moves. <laughs> you're not just, you're not just gonna. <laughs> You'd be like, look, put me in Jersey. Just change my name and put me in another state, <laughs> no, another, no. another, another date. You want to really? I go have back. another family and another. No, yeah, I'd go all the way. I'd go big. I'd be a Viking. Ooh, I think it's kind of in my blood already. We, I'm sure my ancestors were rapad by Vikings because yeah. you know the red, the the red soul, the but red. The crush. red is like a. It's like a. It could. It, it can afflict anyone, right? Like I can, but mostly the mostly the the uh, up north people got it a lot. Yeah, like Deontay. Uh, What's his name? Dante. 
No, the basketball player, he was a redhead, the one who... Delante? Delante West. Poor guy, man. He's me in the other life, the guy I'm talking well, about. I mean, he, you on know, on the he got to fuck LeBron's mom. I mean, it's not it's not easy to do. Maybe that's the, that was the secret to his, his lack of success. You clip her and you just... That's it. Yeah, I think after that, it's tough to be persona grata. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your teammates, mom. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to let you go. Not just any team, like you know, the face of the league. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, there's a there was a moment there where he had a choice, like John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. He probably hit the bathroom. He's like, "You're just gonna you're just gonna jerk off and walk away," <laughs> yeah, yeah. and he didn't do it. He didn't. He do didn't it. do it. What a good scene, by the yeah. way, when he's coming to grips with the idea that he's like, "You can't fuck Marcellus Wallace's wife." Yeah, you gotta go home. You gotta go home. Yeah. he's having the full on conversation with which everyone's had a version of that conversation. Where they're like, I don't want to really stay at this party. I should, I should, I should get the, hey, get out of here. You start talking to yourself. You're like, go home. Just yeah. get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And then, D of course, you come out. Someone's like, who wants a bump? And you're like, I'll stay. I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. Hey, do you like security? I know I do. When I rest my head at night, I want to make sure that my home is safe. And how safe? Simply safe. Simply safe is incredible. They sent me a full system to set up at my house and even a dumbo like me can do it so you can't uh, they have everything from sensors to cameras um, and, and it is a fully integrated system uh, to help you feel safe and secure from the comfort of your own home uh, 24 7 professional monitoring agents use fast protect uh, tm technology exclusively from simply safe to capture critical evidence and verify the threat is real so you can get priority police response to your home everybody wants to feel comfortable especially during the holidays and with this monitoring 24-7, it's going to make you feel good, even if you're skipping out to grandma's house for a little while. It's a whole home security system with advanced sensors for every single room in your house, window and door. They got HD security cameras, so it's not blurry, so you're not like, who is that human outside of my house? They got smarter ways to detect motion uh, to alert you when a threat is actually real, and even hazard sensors that detect fires, floods, and other threats to your home. What else do you need to know? If you want to feel safe... Simply Safe has got you covered. They are the number one rated home security system. Uh, and I got to tell you right now, don't miss your chance to outfit your property the right way to stay safe during the holidays. They got massive savings right now on my favorite security system. Get 40% off. 40. It's almost half. Any new system at simplysafe.com slash whiskey today. That's simplysafe.com slash whiskey today. There's no safe like Simply Safe. How many subscriptions do you have? You have them all. At Disney Plus, I got Hulu, I got Apple TV. You have so many subscriptions and you don't even know what they are anymore. It's incredible. Are you wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. Uh, maybe, you know, an unused Amazon Prime account, Hulu that you don't ever use, uh, you know, who knows. Uh, and because of this, uh, I have this great app for you guys to use so you no longer have to waste money. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. You know how much your subscriptions really cost? Probably not. Most Americans think they're spending around 80 bucks a month. They're closer to 200 plus. You could be wasting hundreds of dollars every single month on subscriptions you don't even know about, don't even use. So you got to use Rocket Money. All right. They're going to show all your subscriptions in one place and they cancel for you whatever you're not whenever you're using anymore or you don't want anymore. Um, they can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for, which is huge. You may even find out you've been double charged for a sub. Shame on you out there charging us twice. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel. That's it. Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. This is incredible. I used this, use this to clean up four subscriptions I had that I either never used or I was paying twice for, which is insane. I was getting overcharged. And how do you do this? All you got to do is go to rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. That is rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. <laughs> Everyone's had a version of that combo. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I think I would be a, a, a Viking because just because of the boat shit. I think boat life would be wild. You know it's a short-lived life. You ain't living long. You're going to get killed or you're going to get you're sick. Wait, you're going to be a Viking just for the boat ride? Boat life, my dude. Well, because you kind of... Vikings were kind of piratey, you know. But what, what I mean? about the pillaging, the raping, and all that stuff? Well, that's what that that that's that's involved. Those that's are the, a, the, the amenities. Those are the amenities. Yeah, right. That's like a hotel that you know that has nice soap. Yeah. That's what that yeah. is. Yeah. But I I also want the view <laughs> from I, the boat. I want the boat view. But it wasn't like a yacht boat. I mean, you're in like a shitty wooden boat. See, but I like you're that. rowing. But yeah. you're commiserating. You're with you're with your clique, your crew. Yeah. 
Uh, Vikings were just frats. On <laughs> they were just frats. That's all that was. <laughs> a Viking ship was just a, a frat, a, a floating frat. That's all it was. They, they go were. They town were. To town. They were free to date rape without. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, that, it's just a floating frat. Yeah. That's all Vikings were. No, I just think it'd be. I think I'd want to do something where it would be extreme because the life is extreme and the death is quick. You know. You know. You're getting stabbed, shot, you're getting drowned, something. Shot, I mean, I think that's anachronistic. I'm not sure the gun was invented yet if you're a Viking. Shot, jizz, no, it was a jizz reference. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Jizz. Oh, they drown you in it. Ah, is, that was one of the methods, yeah. That's yeah, that's make the history books, yeah. Stabbed, cannonballed. Yeah, that would be, that would be... A nice. That would be another way to torture someone is just pukaki their face <laughs> <laughs> till they drown in yeah. a, mar- a marauding tribe's cum. Bukaki, uh, uh, yeah, it's like Chinese water torture. Yeah, but it's Japanese it's just, bukaki torture. It's just bukaki. Yeah, they just all come on your face until you drown in it. You can't breathe. It's covering your nostrils. Jackson, you would be good for the government. Have you thought about working for the feds? No, but it is good. You let it dry there, so it kind of it closes the eyes, it closes the mouth. Yeah, their hands can't take it off. Oh. Oh, yeah, please, I mean, that would please. be horrible. That would be. That's yeah. one of the worst. That that might be one of the worst ways to die. I also don't. Uh, Ling Chi is also. What's I think that? about that. Did Ling you, Chi. Did you learn that from Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's his kid's name, Ling you, Chi. Yeah, you're in on some. He told Ling you? Chi is what do death, they do? death by a thousand cuts. You've never heard of Ling Chi? Ouchie. Yeah. That's old torture shit. They cut slightly cut you until your your skin becomes like it's like it falls off. And like that's it, something that the Eastern. Hemisphere people did? No, Arkansas. It's right out of Arkansas. It's <laughs> Little Rock. Yeah, that's one of the old uh, Ling Chi was a death by a thousand cuts. It's a an old ancient torture. But I think things like that that they don't do anymore uh, are are disgusting. Isn't it very f- creative though? Isn't it funny how vicious how vicious humans could be? Like oh, when you look through oh this, you're going like, man, like we really we can take it all the way. Yeah, we like crucifixion, yeah. Chinese water torture, stoning. Stoning. Stoning's crazy. Yeah. You're throwing. By the way, it's based on hand eye coordination and hate. Like, you got to yeah. be. <laughs> You got to be good at gaming and hating yeah. at the exact same time. You have to be an athlete who's good at hating. I've seen a stoning on a video. You've watched? Yeah. That's one of those like faces of death things? No, no it was like even, it was before like the internet was like really uh, regulated, you know? Yeah, when yeah, those yeah, things yeah. were just like on YouTube and you'd see like a Verizon commercial before them. <laughs> <laughs> Is Get it? two family lines for three. <laughs> Goes straight to a stone. <laughs> Dude, Ted Stone in the streets. That is so funny. An ASPCA commercial. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone getting beat to death in the street. There's still versions of those which are really funny. Like you'll have like a real mainstream <laughs> commercial and then it'll cut to like a horrifying 911 call of like a mother who's killed their kids right, and called. Right, and you're right. like, hey, that's. I don't know if I want yeah, to see that. You, you guys demonetized my video because I said uh, a certain word, but mm-hmm. you're totally cool yeah. with monetizing live murder murder yeah well those call, those phone calls they put up on the internet of, of like i heard one where it's a guy who's like i just killed my wife yeah and he's like uh, and they and they call it you know by the way shout out those those people that are trained they're they are jedi with their the way they talk to them to keep them on the phone right because the 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 operator was like okay all right who 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 are what is your name yeah. Like not any questions about the murder, right. uh, Mike. You know whatever. It's like okay, Mike. Where are you right now? Are you are you okay? Yeah. It's like it makes them feel like they might be the victim, right? So they don't get vulnerable, hang up, and leave. Yeah. And she was she was it was unbelievable listening to it. It's a psychology lesson because she was like, okay, are you there alone now, Mike? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Do you have weapons on you still? Or it it was just like if you learn the the way that they learn to defuse these people in these situations that are already out of their their loop is gone right they're not present so it's like they're talking to a i guess that you they turn into like a child because the way they respond is childlike they're like uh-huh yeah uh-huh like yeah. they're not clear answers yeah most of them are good but then you'll come across one or two of the videos where they're you're just screaming at the 911 operator because yeah. she's she's like keeps asking the address from like a woman who's like been kidnapped living under the well, stairs. Well, that's nuts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she like has to whisper. 44, 25 yeah. Elm. Yeah. Okay, ma'am, don't yell. Just give me the address. Her kidnapper's like sleeping so she had a moment. She like, t- I've heard those ones and she's like, I'm at 44. And the person's like, what? Like chewing a sandwich. <laughs> like, can you say that again? <laughs> it's like, no, I can't. <laughs> you And I see the woman in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. 
Say this slower. I'm typing it in. Hold on. Being so jumpy. Fuck. Just got back from lunch. Can you say it louder? I can't hear you. Mm. Yeah, that's the point. Uh, he's, uh, he's asleep. I can't. Okay, you know what? Wake up your kidnapper. Ask him what it is because I'm yeah. getting tired of this. Yeah. And then they just, too, sometimes they'll go too many details. You're like, he's got me. He's got me in, like in a little, t- trapped in a little closet. And they're like, can you tell me? Mm-hmm. Where the closet is. is in the house. Yeah, yeah is yeah. She's like, I, okay, just two bedrooms upstairs. Fucking GPS my location. <laughs> yeah, and get help. Don't you know where I? Hasn't my phone pinged where I am right now? By now, don't you know a million times over? Yeah, I saw that on uh, on on something uh, about um, that. Now you know legally they can use those pings wherever you are, like in court, right? Like it's like it's not not admissible where. Uh, your phone is pinging off cell towers constantly if it's on. Right. So they can always find the last spot that you were at, no matter right. who you are, where you're from. So you're just, we're giving up all that information. Yeah. You're being pinged, my dog. They know everything, man. That's why when like, hey, oh, they're like, oh, don't get on TikTok because the CCP is taking all your info. I'm like, dude, they already Take have it. it. I mean, they you have You think it. Twitter didn't do that or uh, Instagram didn't do that? They did have it. it. Yeah, they got it. They know exactly. Elon, I'm cont- I just, I want some of your information. That guy, what a weird, he, what a robot guy. By the Ooh, way, Elon? yeah, it's so yeah. funny. People, people are so mad at him. He, he, he goes from it's funny. He goes from hero to villain to hero to villain. You know, like that. It's real funny. It's like he puts up Starling for the Ukrainians, and people are like, Arr. Elon. He creates an electric car. Arr. Elon. Then he posts a conspiracy theory that Paul Pelosi was uh, bludgeoned by his gay lover, and yeah. then it goes down. Like, Kill him. Yeah, that was that was a quick lapse in judgment. Right when he bought Twitter, and he, just, <laughs> yeah, he yeah. just posted that. It just shows you that Twitter gets everybody. Whether it no does. matter how smart, no matter how successful, Twitter will take you down. He just bought the fucking thing like a day ago. And Hillary Clinton posted a thing, and he posted under Hillary Clinton's. He posted maybe more to this story than meets the eye. And you're like, Elon, don't do it. No, he's loving don't click it. send, and he clicked that. But you know what it is? That's that's Trump lived through the exact same thing. When people were like, why would he tweet that? You're like, because he knows it's going to garner so much attention faster than anything he could do. It also just Twitter just shows how flawed we all are and how like emotional and unstable. Unstable, and- I'd say unstable. Yeah. <laughs> Mentally unstable. As a society, Twitter is the collective. Look at how sick and twisted we are. Yeah. And and how and how one narrative can get spun three different ways in the same in one chunk. Like I saw a guy. This is TikTok, but it is still Twitter. The idea is Twitter, and you know what I mean when I say this. There was a girl, a woman recording her little tiny girl, who was like, um, th- uh, she's very young, and she's like, "There's a black girl that we play with at the park that has." beautiful hair with braids and would you ever do that with my hair can i have it like that she looks pretty and whatever and then it flips to a guy being like a black dude being like uh sorry you're not going to culturally appropriate but and then it flips to like a white guy who dubbed on that video and was just like that's a baby girl dude just a baby girl trying to look pretty and it's so funny how you can see you know what i mean you see you'll see seven that is twitter yeah, where yeah, it's like yeah yeah it's like burn him uh, yeah. make him a king yeah. kill him yeah. it's so funny layers how, and layers of commentary yeah man commentary about commentary it's yeah. yeah dragging he was dragging her then that guy's dragging him then somebody's gonna drag the guy that was dragging him that was dragging her. but at the end of the day what twitter is which which is this as well it's moot because poof and it dis- it's gone again Right, like all of this, ah, da, 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 it's a ton of noise. It's like a bad crowd in comedy yeah. when they when they do this laugh where they go, ah, ha, 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 yeah, and it's disappear. silence. Yeah, you know these like peaky yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, they give you no. That's momentum. what Twitter yeah. is. It's <gasps> yeah, and then nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's cr- it's creepy. It's like post apocalyptic silence with dust after this nonsense. Everyone's gnawing at each other, and then silence. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I think at the end of the day, when they said it might go away, good, fucking blow it up. Fuck it. It's shit anyway. Yeah. We don't, we, sh- we definitely don't need it. That would be a hilarious troll if he just paid 40, what is it, 40? 44 billion? 44 billion to just trash it just treat it like he did that tesla sent into space he just takes all the hard drives he puts them in a tesla and just <laughs> sends them up to mars and that's I it i think that's a good idea and honestly yeah. fuck it trash it like well uh, you don't need it i think it'd be better if if everything crashed on that stuff we'd probably be a little bit more sane i think it's i think it's safe to say that without twitter it, it would be things would be a lot chiller <laughs> yeah, yeah it's it's really <laughs> yeah. responsible for a lot of things that are not chill 
And and also it a lot hasn't of chilled anything out. No chill. No. Twitter has no no fucking chill. There's no like uh, chakra yoga f- uh, teacher with like 14 billion followers where everyone's just going there on Twitter to right. be like, hey man, teach me how to chill. It's like people are on there to fucking be angry. Even still, yeah. even if a yogi was on there and it's like trying to promote. If peace, Jesus was on there, be like, fuck you, yeah, fuck off. He'd be like, turn the other cheek, wash be, my feet, dick. Yeah. There'd be fucking memes, underwears of like. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be Will Farrell memes going like ah. <laughs> to everything Jesus said. Yeah. <laughs> that's so that is that is yeah. no, it's so true. It's sad that that's that's the that's kind of where it is. And now. he wouldn't be able to get any following because all his tweets would be like very loving and right. he can't get followers that way. It'd be boring. Yeah, and shit. he's like, hey guys, render unto Caesar. Give him, and someone's like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> You're working for the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, oh, hey, you a secret pedophile cult. What's up with you in pizza shops, yeah. Jesus? <laughs> try to bury jesus right away he would that's why yeah. he hasn't come back he knows how fucked we are that guy the, the idea that he would return again no chance this guy hasn't come back because he sees it and he's like no 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 no. this is fucking that's let them kill each other yeah, let the let this thing burn out and i'll go back when it starts he's again. probably going i shouldn't have, i probably shouldn't have even went the first time yeah that was like, look bad. i went and look what they did to me they, they told me not to go strung me up <laughs> <laughs> They really they, were not cool to him. Very un. They were very Twitter. Very, very yeah. Very, yeah. They were very, they were very Twitter-esque. Yeah. They had zero fucking yeah. chill. We're not a chill. We're not a chill animal. Nah, but humans instinctively we're be- we're when we're beasts. We're we're communal. We're angry. We're defensive. We're protective. So of course, given all those digital tools to get all of this stuff done in a short span of time. Yeah. Of course, we're gonna it, we're gonna go bad with it. It's gonna go bad. You know where I've the sweet spot of chill. I think. Yeah. I think I'm in it right now because like my daughter's now going to like uh, daycare and stuff like that. The the chi- the sweet spot because most of the reason why we're not chill is like all the testosterone and chemicals yep. and youth and yep. ignorance and you know uh, nihilism when you're young. You know you want to bang your head in the wall. You're so your friends could laugh. You want to fucking shit on someone out the window for laughs. <laughs> but when you have like a kid. And your testosterone levels are down because you're like you're in your mid thirties or forties or fifties, like everything's chill and everyone there is like so responsible, caring about the community, about the future because yeah. now they have a vested interest in it. But also, testosterone levels are fucking down. Makes for a chill party. It's a chill party. It's a dude when everyone lower in your there, tea when everyone's got low tea and you're in a party, dude. Everyone's just sitting around sipping uh, whiskey, talking convo. Right. right. It's not like nobody's taking a bottle and like fucking smashing someone's face. <laughs> on it you know it's totally chill no one's so won- that's the sweet spot that is the nugget that the, like that the like kids married 30s to 60 that's the sweet spot it's almost uh that was almost the universe's uh chill pill that's a chill like, pill yeah fucking you need this right now yeah. you need to you need to stop being annoying people don't need to hear you complain it's a bagel store go home yeah don't yell like remember the little bagel guy remember that guy that was oh in the bagel yeah store? the little tiny guy you don't know me pal yeah. It's like that guy has. You're not no my chill. father. You're, you're not, not my, my boss. Father, yeah, and you're not my boss. <laughs> By the way, his life totally ruined because of the internet. Yeah, one video and that and his everybody health. hates him. Yeah, yeah, he had a stroke. Oh, he did. Yeah, did he die? I, f- he's either dead or R.I.P. Little Bagel or guy. Or worse, like he just can't do anything. He's be vegetable. Yeah, he had a moment though. He had a quick moment where he was going to fight Lenny Dykstra, but it, it didn't fall through. Uh, I fell through. He was going to fight Lenny Dykstra. No I mean, way. how sad is that? Yeah, was he? He was going to fight Lenny Dykstra. One of those- um, Sad uh, for Lenny. Nah, but he's on his own path, my guy. Yeah, he's on that same kind of- <laughs> He's doing What's his going thing. on, yeah. Yeah, well, once you lose your teeth. Yeah. Teeth are a thing. <laughs> teeth are- once you, well, If you're a successful human and you lose your teeth- Now, I'm not saying someone that lives- uh, That's having a tough time with their life. Lenny was a very wealthy dude. And he lost his teeth. If you lose your teeth with resources, it's bad. Yeah, he it's lost bad. all his resources too. I, be, and be, I think they go one of the. You same. think it was just all one big dental bill? I think it was. Yeah, this guy went in. The guy was like, "It's one hundred eighty-seven million dollars to fix your mouth." Yeah, Lenny's tough. It's tough it's, when you see those stories. The Antoine Walkers, the Lennies, even Kurt Schilling lost all his money. You know, I, it's like, guys, how did you lose that money, dog? Well, I mean, dude, fucking Tyson talks about it on his podcast yeah. all the time that he, 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 I think he enjoys it to say it, but he's lost more money than anybody in the history of professional sports, which kind of might be true because I think he says he lost a half a billion or something uh, like that. Oh, yeah. But that's- That's impressive almost. But, it, but and when somebody goes, how would you do that? I got to tell you something. Once you sit around a very wealthy person, right? Once you see how they live, it's the same thing with Kanye. When people are like, whatever, he's still rich. It's like, no, no, no. 
but their lifestyles are insane. And I think people are like, what could that even mean? It's like, well, that guy's private jetting all day, every day to somewhere new. Right. So in private jet alone, if you're paying 20 grand an hour, which is probably his, he's probably taking super max, you know, the super jets, 20, 25 grand an hour, an hour, every single time you want to go somewhere, plus the hotels and the crews that he brings and the people he employs, he's probably spending a hundred grand a day, minimum, right. minimum. Yeah. His expenses, go, your expenses go up. It's, but it's through the, it's, but it's money lost that you don't know go, when, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, those people are like, uh, um, we saw like uh, Mark Wahlberg had a house, for his house, one of his houses for sale, and I was we were looking. It was forty one million dollars or something like that, and it was like what it would take to run the machine would make people head spin. Right, just the just the insurance and property taxes. But just, that's yeah. what I mean to run the machine to have yeah. humans that'll take care of it with you. Yeah. The water bills, they're like all that shit is hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, and you're like that. Yeah, that's not, that. And that, then you got to pay the salaries of the people who do it. Yeah, that runs out, man. I yeah. think people think you can't get rid of that money. You can because you live like a goof. But when you live on sixty grand a year working a regular job, you're like, how could they blow that? You're like, well, dude, you could because you live, you live in a loopy world where yeah. someone's like, yeah, it's a seven hundred thousand dollar watch. That's not crazy. And is everyone it? always expects you to pick up the check when you're at dinner. Like you can't just not pick up. You the have check. to buy the whole thing. You have to buy all the things. Yeah, like I went to dinner once with Stamos, and I, it was just I knew. I'm like you're picking up the check. It was like there was like 14 people there too. You know he probably is not crazy about that. Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be annoying. Yeah, it's got to be kind of annoying. He's but not you even can't. But he can't as Stamos. You just can't do it. Have you ever picked up a we, check for him? No, we haven't hung out like that many times. I would try. I would fake it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you can't because yeah. then it becomes a thing where everyone's like, is, is Stamos made us split the check. That's fucking crazy. See, I think it's cool. He should. Yeah. Stamos, Stamos, I know you're listening. Split it. Start making people split. Split it. But how about- Stamos looked up in the bill and goes, I got this, you guys. Just Venmo me, will you? <laughs> how funny. PayPal, do you have Zelle? Yeah. Zelle or, me. Or if he just goes, or or when the check comes, he goes, yeah, can we're going to 14 wait. Can we set? If well, he when just the, said when the that, server yeah. comes, goes, oh, can I bring the bill? And he yeah. goes, yeah, yeah, these all the other, can I'll or pay for Or if he goes, like, I got card, but you guys got cash. You want to- <laughs> <laughs> Kick in? Kick in. But- Giannis, I noticed that you had two bottles of wine with us, but you didn't- he didn't want to pay up a little yeah. bit. Maybe nice to see him do <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, but that's one of the things why those people lose their money because like everyone always expects them to pay, and they almost feel like they have to. Is if they don't, people are like, "That's weird." Like you're, you're do you famous, ever feel rich. like if someone says they notice you, do you feel like like if you go to a restaurant and someone knows who you are, do you feel like you have to tip a lot more money? Yes, yes, yeah, you do. You know, it was weird. Someone, uh, what, what, when was when did this happen? It was the other day, someone, I was just walking somewhere and some guy was like, you're just walking around. It's so funny how like nowadays with the internet, everyone has like a little tiny fame. It's not like, like there's no more, like there's not very many Ben Afflecks, you know? Sure. So it's like, but to those people, they think you're Famous. like, you like you don't yeah. walk around anymore. It's like, yeah, of course I'm walking around. Like, I have to. I'm fucking an, a Z-list celebrity. Yeah. I'm, I'm like as low. Taking my kid to daycare. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm like, I'm not. Yeah. But you also got it. You, you don't want to ruin it and be like, yeah, man, I'm actually taking the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to go, yeah, you know, once in a while I like to get out there amongst the plebs. I'm like you. Yeah, I'm just like you. I'm a normie, baby. <laughs> and you get into your, your, you're like, all right, man, I got to go your jetpack. Yeah. <laughs> I was so taken aback by that comment. He was like, you're just walking around. I'm like, Was yeah, it in the what? city? It was, I think it was Austin. Oh, I'm was trying to remember Austin, where yeah. exactly it was Austin. Kidding and, me, last time me and Bobby It was were right there. before the show. I was doing the show, and they were coming to see the show, and I was like going to like a taco truck to get tacos, and the guy was going to the show, and he was like, whoa, Giannis where, Papas. Where, where'd you play? The Vulcan. The Vulcan Theater. The Vulcan. The, the, the two levels, right? The, that's yeah. the one I'm thinking they of. Yeah, the, the Vulcan. Couple, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's like a music venue turn. Like, everybody loves it now. Yeah, I mean, it's like- Well, you call know. Rogan. When the fuck is this comedy well, club Well, when open? that comedy club opens, Vulcan's going to take it a little bit of a hit. It's going to be tough, huh? I'm sure Rogan's going around and be like, we're all gonna, everyone's going to be fine. It's like, no, they're not. Well, but also, that thing's been benefiting in, in Austin Huge. from the comedy boom, and I don't think there's- I mean, oh, well, no, the Cellars. I mean, um, uh, the- uh, not the, the Creek in the Cave. Creek in the Cave. I don't know yeah. why I said this. The uh, Creek in the Cave is out there. Yeah, everybody's been doing good. Yeah, and Rogan opens his club. You know, did, maybe did, there's enough. Did you go gravy. do his show, by the way? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah. I did his his uh, live show, his potty. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. You did yeah, his I did pod. his potty. Yeah. And what did what did, did he talk about opening the club or no? Um, did you show you a bunch of elk meat that he killed? That too. Yeah. And then it's soon. He says soon. 
Soon. Soon. It's been soon. <coughs> what but, is soon? Bless but, me. Yeah, I think he's close. I think he's close. I think I'm, he's close. I'm curious. I'm going to yeah. go see him soon. I'm I think go. it's like ja- maybe January, February, something like that. Januar. Maybe Januar we will be back open. We'll all go down. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I do yeah. want to see it. I do want to see it. I think uh, I want to see what that looks like in that city without... Because what it used to be to me was kind of a... No offense, but it was just kind of like a quick stop city where I'd no go do... Taken, yeah. Well, what's it called? Uh, Cap City. Cap City. You know, it was like... Yeah. That's not... It's gone, right? No, it's back. Oh, they opened it up again? It's back, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all it was to me. It was like, go to Cap City, do the thing, then get out yeah. as fast as you can. Mateo Lane was doing Cap City when I was doing Vulcan. And Gay! Had to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He is. And I saw him um, on the plane, and he was in first class, and I was in coach. Yeah, what? That was one of those things. That's a funny moment. That's a real funny moment. When you moment. see someone you know. When, you, yeah. when you're walking in, like I was, and I'm in the last row because I booked my ticket real late. And, you know, you almost want, like you. when I was walking by him, I was trying to, like part of my brain was going like, should I try to explain this real quick? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What do you, you say? You just want to get in like, hey, you, like as you're walking by, I'm like, hey man, you know, like I, I sometimes sit up there too, you know, I just want to, but then you're, like, you're just like, you just take it and you're like, yeah man, enjoy it. And he had an uncomfortable look on his face because like we know each other and yeah. his career's, you know, going incredible. So it, I just felt like it was a very funny moment where I could read his expression, he could read mine and we were both trying to, it was like the elephant in the room. That happens. Yeah, he was. He was just. He was like the first row, first face I saw. I'm all sweaty, carrying bags, yeah. long line. You know, he, he was sipping on a tea already. Yeah, yeah. he had like a champagne. Someone and like was a toweling his neck yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've I, I've had those moments. Those are, but I've had. We, I've been on both sides of the coin. So he, he said something very funny though. Um, have you seen that documentary about uh, what is it, Nixium? The, the cult oh yeah in Albany yeah, yeah 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 so I yeah. was watching that like the day before so when I got off I was like talking about it like because he waited for me and we like walked a little bit and I was like it's crazy this guy was like branding these chicks and he goes it was real funny he goes because it's true he goes Jesus Christ, the things that straight guys got to go through to get some fucking pussy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you got to like join a cult. You got to like start a cult, yeah. maintain a cult. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of true. Well, you know what it is? If you're unattractive, there, I watched a documentary about that thing called One Taste. You know what? You should watch that one. The One Taste is crazy. It was like in Silicon Valley and this, it was led by this woman and she created this. Wow, like, woman had a cult. Yeah, but she, it was all about making a woman orgasm. Like, it was all about the woman. It was all about making a woman come. It was nothing about men. Of course, men eventually joined. Then it became this twisted thing and you should watch it. It's fucking insane. But what it really comes down to is when you go into these sexy cult things, this sexy branded thing where it's always about like the root cause is always a sex thing, the guys are always, always hideous they're always <laughs> ugly guys they're not one is a good-looking guy right. never once is there right. one looking good right. because a good-looking guy knows better right. you don't need to do that but so what it is is it's not straight men need to go it's unfortunate looking men yeah they're out of options it's either they're going to shoot up a school right they're going to get a prostitute or they got to join a cult right and it, and 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 be a part of this thing yeah 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 well, if yeah. you're an ugly dude your options are limited yeah and i'm not saying i'm fucking brad pitt but i'm lucky enough where i'm like you see the guys in these documentaries, they're always unfortunate looking men. And you're like straight men. Yeah, always. Straight always. because the gay ones, there's ugly al- gay guys are fine. There's always a gay that's into that type of gay. Of course. They have like these. There's a sub, section, yeah. Yeah, fetishes and like, oh, right. he's a bear. And you're like, he's a fat and in the straight world, you're like, he's just a fat guy. So he's a lazy fat guy. But yeah. the, in the gay world, they're like, oh, he's a bear. I love that. Yeah. And that's it. He's blind, blind bear. He's a blind bear. He's a one eyed blind bear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gay guys fuck, man. They they Yeah, talk, they're pump yeah. machines. They're they're men. They're just men. <laughs> <laughs> They're just good old fashioned men without Damn restrictions. Man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, every one of these documentaries, I re- recommend people watching the One Taste. I forget what it's called, but Google One Taste and you'll find out. And this woman, man, she was fucking evil, man, the way she manipulated these people and promoted like violence. Why do people fall for manipulation so easily? Why are, why are, why are sometimes the worst people so fucking charming well here so, so, so they're sociopaths you know what i'm talking about yeah. yeah of course but, but she was no exception right like this yeah. woman was so good at what many of these leaders are at making you feel comfortable they're usually good they looking mirror you yeah they're, they, they're usually good looking enough yeah. where you trust them because let's say it, we can pretend that it's not real but society we always deem good looking people as higher than we listen to them like they know more than us we you know you handsome and pretty people will we will always 
assume that they're better than us in some way. Like That's, they know more. That, God fucked that up. God fucked that up. <clears throat> Don't you think God fucked that up? Because like, yeah, we're attracted to just facial symmetry yeah. and like very superficial things. We're all hardwired for that. That's not great for our species. Uh -uh. That's not great for evolution. Uh -uh. Why are we not like totally turned on by like when a woman starts just fucking like just routing off math equations and science facts? How come that doesn't get me a stiffy? Because we're still animals. Yeah. We want to know that you can help and they want to know that you can save. Well, that's bad. Well, well, dude, we haven't evolved. You yeah. think about this. We're not that old. Yeah. As a species, we're not that old. Do you Come, think one day it'll be like that instead of like going I think like, in a million years, yeah, it'll be yeah. it'll it'll be all about something else. Guys will be like, instead of being like, look at those tits, you'll be like, God, man, you got to really have a combo have you, with this have girl. Have you spoken to this woman? Have you spoken to her? Jesus Christ. Well, we won't have bodies by then. We'll be floating entities. Yeah. We'll be just, we'll be, we'll be... We'll be just we'll be we'll be cells with some kind of figure, but it'll be shrouded, so we won't get to judge. So you'll just pair with the thing that works the best with you. It's gonna be sad. You think it's gonna be sad? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be sad. <laughs> We're in the fun stage. It's the infancy of humans, but yeah. it's also gonna be. It's. I don't think it gets better. I think. I think we're in the nugget. Would you upload your consciousness to the metaverse for nah, eternity? No, no, thanks. No, no, because I'm out of here. I want to be out of here when I'm out of here. Yeah. I want when I'm done. I want to be done. Yeah. When when my time calls, thank you. It was good. That's it. You're not I don't... greedy. I like that. My dad said that towards the end of his life. He goes, I'm not a pig. He not said, a pig. I loved it. He goes, I'm, I'm not a pig. He says, I did everything I wanted to do. I, I lived. I, you know, I'm not a pig. I mean, you don't, I'm not you, greedy. I got, I got you it. You got it. Yeah. Well, you don't, I don't need you to write about me. I don't need you to talk about me. I just, it's okay. We're, we're, we, it was fun. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. And I truly mean it. I guess maybe it is also maybe a, a little bit of enlightenment as I've gotten older, just being like, I just want to enjoy it. And then that's it. Are um, you enjoying? I am to a yeah. degree. I mean, yeah. it's overwhelming because I'm in the middle of it. Yeah. You know, working yeah. on the show, working on the podcast, writing this other thing, doing this other thing. It's but like- you, It's work you enjoy. I do. I love it. Yeah. I wish I, uh, sometimes I wish I didn't spend so many plates, but that's, I think it's a, a champagne problem. It's, it's like, it's wonderful. Yeah. I get to sit, talk with friends, have drinks and have a good time and also yeah. work hard. But uh, I think I will be happy- I'll be happy about the work I have been doing. Do you know what I mean? Are you moving to New York? I might move to New York for a I don't bit. think that's a bad move. I think that's a good I might. I but do. you get so much fucking acting work. Yeah, but you that's know what? I just, but life, you know, I was always jealous when somebody told five stories about their life. You know, you sometimes I'd meet a guy that my dad knew and it was like, you know, when he was young, he used to work at da-da-da-da-da and then his family and they moved to blank and then they did this and then for a while he was this and then they did this and I kind of, think sometimes like i don't want my story to be like moved to la and did that for the rest of his life right it'd be nice to it'd be nice to create a new story right you know and even if it's not as uh, you know I, I don't know i just think even if it takes a weird dip or it changes its course it's all going to be worth the experience yeah and also i'll be close to you and am i coming over for dinner every single you, night you're invited I'm coming yeah. over. You're fucking invited. Speaking of which, we need you're to put a some food. You're a pleasant hang. We you're need to put some hang. food inside of our bellies right now. Yeah. Uh, so I love having you on the show. I appreciate you as always, my Jan Pop, my sweet prince. Go to Jan's Pop's comedy right now. It's going to be in the description below. But go buy a fucking ticket. All right, don't be a don't be a dickhead. All right, you got cities in the new year that you want to pump. Absolutely. Wait, when's this coming out? In December, middle of December. In December. I, we don't have time for me to grab the phone and run through them. Just but just guess. Detroit. Yeah. Detroit. Uh, Chicago. Where are you playing in Shy Town? Uh, the, uh, the Zanis. Oh, I love the Zanis. The Zanis. Downtown Schaumburg. Sh uh, downtown. 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 Uh, as a, yeah, as they say in Pittsburgh. Um, God, I, Jacksonville, Jacksonville coming up. Um, San Francisco. Philly on New Year's Eve. Philly, oh, you're doing that? The punchline. Philly. I'm, I'm doing Boston on New Year's Eve. Ooh. Doing the Wilbur Theater. Ooh. I'll be in Boston. You'll be you in Philly. You saw that the Chicago Theater. Congrats. Well, you know, no, 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 no. we'll see if we can do it again. You Chicago, will do it again. next year. I hope. Yeah, I hope. We'll see. But go see the guy. Go watch him. Go to honestpapascomedy. All the dates are up there. They're there's up tons there. of cities I'm forgetting, but there's a, there's a bunch. I'm on tour till May, and please go watch a special if you haven't. And my podcast, Long Days. Long Days. It's wonderful. We end the show the same way. Look at that camera. Say one word or one phrase to end it, baby. When you're ready, go ahead. Jamaica, <laughs> love. Escape. <laughs> In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse.
gingers. Oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.